it is amazingly and also very much interesting and joyful to get some help from Islamic Dawatim, from Muslim missionaries, from Muslim doctors, Muslim sheikhs, in a, getting help from them to help Muslims to live Islam. It has been expressed that there are pressing questions people are asking. People are poking in for those questions now. It is time to answer those questions. It has been encouraging to see how sheikhs and Islamic Dawatim is helping Muslims to live Islam with the statements or with the information they put forth. And as people are asking those pressing questions, recently Dr. Shabir Ali responded one of the pressing questions as a Christian we've been asking at Speaker's Corner for the last couple of years. In 2016, I think it was, um, Dan Gibson put book together with the data regarding the direction of the prayer in early mosques. He looked at, oh, I think by this time, up to today, over 100 mosques. And he find out, he, he checked the direction of the Qibla, which is direction of the prayer. Uh, are they facing to Mecca as Muslims, when Muslims pray today, they turn their face towards Mecca? What was the archaeology in early centuries of Islam? And then Gibson puts material together and then data together by expressing none of the seven century mosques are facing to Mecca. He talks about them to facing towards Petra. In this book, he talks about four different direction of the Qibla. And in this direction of the Qibla, he talks about Qibla towards Petra. Qibla towards Mecca and Qibla between Petra and Mecca as well as Qibla which is identified as parallel. There are apparently four different Qiblas with in early century of Islam. Yet today there is officially only one direction of the prayer which is towards Mecca. So let's listen Dr. Shabir Ali. Uh, as he's dealing with this pressing question people are asking. I'm sure he will give us very much satisfied answer, not only for himself, also for Muslims, so that they can continue to be Muslim. Let's do watch this short video together. Dan Gibson came up with this remarkable theory that Muslims initially were praying not towards Mecca uh, in the lifetime of the Prophet, but they were praying towards Petra in, in Jordan, uh, in Jordan in, to, to the north of Mecca. And how does he come to this conclusion? Because he has studied some uh, the layout of some ancient mosques, uh, and he has found that the earliest mosques uh, were oriented towards Petra. But this has been answered by uh, David King, who is an expert in the field, uh, dealing with the early mosques and, and directions and so on, and, and early Muslim science. And uh, his understanding is that the Muslims had an idea of how to locate directions based on the rising points uh, of, of the sun uh, and certain other astronomical phenomena that they recognized in their day. And so they oriented their mosques naturally with their idea of, of how the direction direction is to find Mecca. It wasn't their intention to, to orient their mosque towards Petra, but towards Mecca. And indeed, some of the mosques... So, the, um, Dan Gibson, in his book, he puts together um, all the data. Um, of course, this book has been, I think, published in 2016. He puts together the details and the degrees of the mosques uh, and their direction of the prayer. So here is the sum of the list. Of course, pages after pages you get to see. So what you see is you get to see the date of the mosque when it, when it is built, direction of the Qibla, okay? And you can see Petra from 
states in 7th century. So you've got a mosque in Egypt facing towards Petra. You've got mosque in Israel facing towards Petra. Mosque in Iran facing towards Petra. Mosques, you will also get to see mosques in China are towards in, facing towards Petra. And when you come approximate year, as you can see on the on the tape on the um, graph, as you move forward, as you move forward, and come to year seven twenty seven, you will get to see mosque which is facing towards Mecca. In 7th century mosques, according to Dan Gibson's material findings, that these mosques are facing to Petra mainly. So pages after pages, you can get all those details in his book. Of course, what he does is he kind of summarizes in here for us. You've got uh, from one hijra to over 100, um, 1 Hijra to 125 Hijra, mosques are facing Petra. Earliest mosque is facing the Mecca is 727 towards on, yet still from that, that time you do have mosques which are facing to Petra, which are parallel, that means neither facing to Mecca or Medina, but it is somewhere parallel to that direction. Or there are mosques which are facing a location between Petra or Mecca. The book is written very much well. You can even have the short list of the mosques within early century of Islam. Where are they fa facing? So this is the short list for uh, mosques facing towards Petra. You can even see the degree of error. So average degree of error from Petra is 2.5 degree. 2.5 average degree. So here's the on the map if anyone wants to see. Mosques are facing towards Petra. A mosque, a mosque in Egypt facing towards Petra instead of instead of facing towards Medi Mecca. Mecca is somewhere in here. Mosque in India facing towards Petra instead of facing towards Mecca. You can, in, the, in the book, all those degrees and all those values have been expressed. Mosques in um, this part of the world, um, this is like, oh, I forgot the name of this place. Um, Dubai, those part of the world, are facing towards Petra instead of towards Mecca. In China, mosques are facing towards Petra. In Samarkand, mosques are facing towards Petra. And here, some examples. There are 8th century mosques. Some of the 8th century mosques are facing towards Mecca. And another example. Some of the mosques from 8th century Tovarson, neither facing towards Mecca or, Pet Mecca or Petra, they are parallel to that direction. So, there are some mosques are facing towards Petra. What is the, what is the Muslim respond to this? We get to hear from... Uh, Dr. Shabir Ali, he expressed that David King already responded to this by stating actually because of the sunrise or sunset or their other astronomical materials, the way they find the, they, the, way they find the um, direction of the prayer. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Uh, if I am correct, I, uh, I believe I am correct. David King only looked at six mosques in his research. A mosque in Damascus. Okay, you can see that 
you, you, you on the map you can kind of uh, think together where is Damascus is in the area of Syria he looked at that mosque and then he looked at the mosque today called as the Dome of the Rock and then mosque in China he looked at the mosque in Sana, Yemen he looked at the mosque in Spain, Cordoba Mosque. He looked at the mosque in Iraq, Wasit Mosque. He looked at altogether six mosques versus Dan Gibson looks at over 100 mosques. And the question Dan Gibson is asking, don't you find it's a bit strange that you've got seven century mosques? They are almost, almost they are pointing the same direction to Petra, to average missing guide is 2.5. And of course, um, Shavirali expresses the reason Dan Gibson's, um, the reason David King gives why those mosques are facing towards, facing towards uh, Petra. It wasn't intentional. It was because of the sunrise and or sunset. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Are we saying, in 7th century, people were very much concerned regarding the uh, calculation of the sunset and sun rays to put their mosque. In somehow they fixed that in 8th century. Mosques in 7th century. None of those mosques in 7th century are turning their direction of the prayer towards where? Towards Mecca. None of them. But in suddenly in 8th century, they figured out people in Egypt, in Fursat Mosque, people in Jerusalem, people in India, people in China, they didn't know where was Mecca and then they missed the direction. They simply missed the direction. I find this is a bit a bit strange and a bit amazing. Of course, um, let me actually just put the rest of the um, video and then we will comment on it. Let's get there. South uh, can be interpreted as facing Mecca or anything to the north of Mecca, including Petra. So what uh, does, uh, uh, you know, those who want to follow this theory that Muslims are paying, uh, praying towards Petra, what do they do? And they ignore the fact that the southern mosques are facing towards Mecca, and they take that to mean that it's facing towards Petra. So it's a kind of a, a confirmation bias. Mm -hmm. uh, they start with the idea. So, um, yes, you can see in the map, is the map again. Uh, there are some mosques in south. They are facing towards to north. So it could be towards Petra or it could be according to Dr. Shabir Ali, it could be towards Mecca. But the problem is, problem is the people who live, people who live in um, Egypt, they didn't know where was Mecca. People who live in China, they didn't know where was Mecca. Is that the case? People who lived in Iran, they missed the Mecca in mosque in Iran, okay? Masjid Aytarik Khan Mosque missed the Mecca for 22.39 degree. They didn't know where was, they didn't know where was Mecca. People who lived in Israel, Kirbat al Minya Mosque, which is built in 706, misses the Mecca, misses the Mecca by 22 degree. They didn't know where was Mecca versus it is very close to the Petra 0 0.8 degree. Those people were traders. Those people were people who would able to find their way around, their way around in the desert. But they didn't know where Mecca was. They missed the direction. 
mosque in Sana'a, built on 705, Grand Mosque of Sana'a, points towards Petra or Jerusalem. It is 0.36 degree Mr. Petra versus it Mr. Petra 8.8. .8. I find that a bit strange and amazing. Mosque, one of the mosques called um, Kars Muhrab, uh, to, face towards, uh, face to, it's in Jordan, face towards Petra, and misses the Mecca with 40 degree. And because it was all about sunrise, sunset, and not intentional calculation. I don't think that is very, very much helpful. A mosque, another an amazing example, mosque in Jordan, Humaya Mosque, misses Petra with 133 degree. How can this be? Because of sunrise, or sunset. List after list Dan Gibson gives us. Data after data Dan Gibson gives us and then tells us there are seven century mosques and sadly they are not facing towards Mecca. Yet today Today, Muslims are turning their face, turning the prayer towards Mecca. So if you are saying in 7th century, people in China, in India, in Jordan, in Samarkand, they didn't even know that where was, where was Mecca, but by the 8th century, people figured out where was Mecca. Therefore, they arranged their direction of the prayer in that sense. I am afraid to tell you that is not very satisf satisfied answer not to me as a christian but even to muslims even to muslim missionaries there are better ways to come up with the answer if you are saying yeah muslims didn't figure out the full direction of the mecca which was very important to them it took for them over a century to figure out that they need to turn their face towards Mecca in Saudi Arabia. That is not very much satisfying answer. As I said, all the data is, can be found in this with the methods, how they have people figured out. And I think in the in the video, I didn't share it with you, but uh, simply Muslims, um, especially um, Dr. Shabir Ali, discredits the author or the person who researched the material. Uh, simply criticize him with his qualifications. But the research has been done. All the data is there. Those things can be checked out. Even author Dan Gibson tells how he put those data is together. Uh, I think those are pressing questions for the last couple of years. It will be helpful for Islamic Dawah team, for Muslim missionaries to do proper homework and let us know what was, what was, what is the main reason those mosques missed the direction. I'm not here to defend Dan Gibson or discredit David King. It, it is not, not my area of qualification, but I am just asking the questions which alongside of me, some of the Muslims are asking today. And Islamic sheikhs are telling us there are some pressing questions needs to be answered. So then the question is, seven, there is zero mosque in seventh century facing towards Mecca for the Qibla direction of the prayer. Zero mosques. 
why. But I must express my thanks once again for Islamic Dawah team, apostate Islamic Dawah team, Muslim missionaries, Muslim doctors, Muslim sheikhs, for simply, for simply uh, helping Muslims to live Islam because you are not able to give them satisfied answer for these pressing questions which people are now poking and asking you to answer those very much basic questions. Once again, thank you very much.